coming ahead is those foods that are highly beneficial or neutral are the ones that you need to avoid the video ends with food that either interfere or support weight loss so stay till the end hi my name is Shobha Basavaraj you're watching heal your body and mind subscribe hit the notification bell if you like the video give me thumbs up and write comments below blood type is a genetic powerhouse it influences your immune system metabolism and digestive system the charts coming ahead have food with one two or three stars referring to their influence on carbohydrate metabolism microbiome diversity weight loss and microbial balance blood type ab is rare complex and displays multiplicity of qualities if you are blood type ab you do not produce enough stomach acid to effectively digest too much animal protein the key here is the portion size and frequency lamb mutton rabbit and turkey instead of beef stay away from chicken the lectin in chicken irritates your blood vessels and digestive tracts if you refer the chart there's a wide variety of seafoods that's an excellent source of protein for you lectins found in some white fish such as sole and flounder causes problem for your digestive tract the edible snail helix aspersal potamia contains a powerful lectin that may help prevent some cancers that your type individuals appear more prone to developing subscribe hit the notification bell if you like the video give me thumbs up and write comments below what is beneficial to you from dairy foods is cultured and sard products yogurt kefir non-fat sour cream they can be easily digested and help you develop a healthy microbiome excessive mu mucus production is a factor you have to watch out especially if you have signs of respiratory problems sinus attacks or ear infection which might be an indication you should cut back on dairy products. Eggs are a very good source of protein for you. Although they are high in cholesterol, your blood type has some susceptibility to heart conditions, but the research has shown that the biggest culprits in elevated cholesterol are not cholesterol-containing food, but rather saturated fats. You should use olive oil rather than animal fats hydrogenated vegetable fats or other vegetable oils olive oil is a monounsaturated fat that is believed to contribute to lower blood cholesterol you may also use small amounts of ghee a semi-fluid clarified butter which is popular in india in your cooking walnut oil can be added to your salads it can help promote cell cleansing especially in the brain and nervous system it's a process called autophagy when it comes to nuts and seeds it's not really clear so therefore eat them in small amounts and be cautious although nuts and seeds are a good source of protein seeds are a source of food lectins which irritate your digestive tract Beans are a rich source of food lectins and with your double antigen set up, it gives them the twice the opportunity to disrupt your digestive tract. Some of these foods are idiosyncratic. You should make soya bean products like tofu a regular part of your diet in combination with small amounts of meat and dairy. On a general rule of thumb, you do well on grains, even wheat but you have to limit your wheat consumption especially if you're trying to lose weight wheat is not advised your blood type has a pronounced mucus condition which is caused by asthma or frequent infections limit wheat consumption wheat germ and bran limited to once a week oatmeal soy flakes millet and soy granules are good cereals for you Look for 100% sprouted breads called manna or SNE bread. You'll benefit from a diet that includes rice, then pasta. Again, avoid corn and buckwheat in favor of oats and rye. Phytochemicals are found in fresh vegetables, which are an important source. Are natural substances in foods that have a tonic effect in cancer and heart disease prevention. You should eat vegetables several times a day. You have a wide selection. Panhemagglutinin in tomatoes affect all blood types. Since you have so much blood type material and the lectin isn't specific, you seem to be able to avoid all ill effects. 
you must avoid fresh corn and all corn-based products. Eat more alkaline fruits such as grapes, plums, and berries, which can help balance the grains that are acid forming in your muscle tissues. You don't do particularly well with certain tropical fruits, in particular mangoes and guavas, but pineapple is an excellent digestive aid. Avoid oranges. They can undo some of the good gut rehabilitation that occurs with the diet. Grapefruit is closely related to oranges and is also an acidic fruit, but it has positive effects on your stomach, exhibiting alkaline tendencies after digestion. Lemons are excellent for you. They aid in digestion and clearing mucus from the system. Eat vitamin C rich fruits such as grapefruit or kiwi. They are rich in antioxidant which are important for stomach cancer prevention. Banana lectin interferes with your digestion. Substitute it with other high potassium fruits such as apricots, figs and certain melons. Subscribe, hit the notification bell. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up and write comments below. Start your day by drinking a glass of warm water with freshly squeezed juice of half a lemon to cleanse the system of mucus accumulation while sleeping. It also has a, a mild blood thinning effect that is desirable for you and aids in elimination. Follow with a diluted glass of grapefruit or papaya juice. In general, choose high alkaline fruit juices such as black cherry, cranberry or grape. A glass of red wine three or four times a week can be beneficial because of its positive cardiovascular effects. Replace coffee with green tea for the greatest benefits. Green tea has powerful antioxidant qualities that is important for you. Spices were the original medicine, so use them that way. They are rich in antimicrobial essential oils, whilst others are great source of antioxidants, immune enhancing phytochemicals and fat burning thermogenic compounds. Use them regularly. Avoid all peppers and vinegar because they tend to unbalance the absorption mechanism of your digestive tract. Instead of vinegar, use lemon juice with oil and herbs to dress vegetables or salad. Use garlic generously. It is a potent tonic and a natural antibiotic. Sugar and chocolate should be used as condiments. Avoid all pickled condiments because they have negative effects on the microbiome. Also avoid ketchup which contains vinegar. Main weight gain factors for blood type AB bacterial overgrowth, dysbiosis, cell signaling issues, stress, lectin sensitivities. The chart shows food that you need to avoid because they interfere with your weight loss. All the foods that have lectin which you are sensitive to and foods that cause dysbiosis and stress immune imbalance. The chart shows all the food that help you with your weight loss. The food that block lectin sensitivity, build active tissue mass, improve cell signaling and balance your microbiome. The advanced studies done in biochemistry and gut bacteria has fueled the genesis of this personalized nutrition. See you in my next video. Subscribe, hit the notification bell. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up and write comments below.